everybody. Today I wanted to share with you an awesome resource that I use for getting free fonts that I use in Cricut Design Space a lot. So if you go to defont.com, um, this is where I get all my fonts. Uh, this is their homepage. You'll see they've got a lot of really awesome fonts to work with. One thing to note though is um, if you're going to be making money off of any designs you make with these fonts, they need to be free for commercial use. You can see here that these are free for personal use only. So if you're wanting to see how you can find, um, how you can sort it so it just shows you free for commercial use, you just need to pick a category. I tend to always pretty much gravitate towards the fancy category and that'll bring up this little menu bar. So if you go to more options and check 100% free and hit submit, that will do it. So you can see on this side over here, these are all 100% free. So we're good to go and just pick a new one um, that we wanna use. I think like this one stands out to me. I think it's very like, gives me spooky vibes for Halloween. So if you want this one, you can just click download. I've definitely downloaded this before, so it'll give me a message saying I already have it. But once you open it, you'll see your file like this, and this is the one that's the actual um, font. So you'll double click on that, and this will give you a great overview of what it looks like. One thing to check here is that it has all the characters you're wanting, because not all of them have everything. So sometimes, like I've downloaded a font before that um, didn't have uppercase or that didn't have numbers. Um, I can see one kind of funky thing here is it looks like this uppercase B doesn't have its spine here, which is a little odd, but um, I'm sure you can make it work. So then you'll just hit install, um, and then we can close out of these. And when we go into Cricut Design Space, um, you can do your uh, text here, and we can change the font by going here and then just typing in the new font name. That's another thing to mention is don't forget the name of your font because I've downloaded like 30 fonts in one day before and I forgot all of their names and it was really hard to sift through and find again. So this one's called Capture It. And you'll see, um, I guess I didn't download this one before because it's not here. So it says no results found and that's totally fine, completely expected. That just means you have to close out of Design Space and reopen it. And this basically just functions as the refresh button for Cricut. Um, once you do this, like if you've downloaded, you know, like I said, 30 fonts, um, you just need to refresh it. And once you go back in, they should all be there. So we can do our test font again. Go up to fonts, search, type in the name, and you can see it's right there. Another thing to note is sometimes when you go in to find your new font, the preview will look like it's in Times New Roman. That's fine. Click it anyway, um, and it'll still it'll it'll be correct here, even if the preview's wrong. So yeah, that's it. It's very simple, but um, for people who haven't done this before, it can be a little confusing to figure it out. So I'm hoping that this was helpful for at least one person. If so, that'll be a success. So yeah, I'm hoping that any of you guys, if you have made anything with your Cricut out of these fonts. Feel free to share them in the comments below an image of what you made and then the name of the font I think would be super fun. Also get a chance to like show off your crafts. So anyway, yeah, that's all I have. Until next time.